What's up everybody, it's your boy Dronex Factor and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to orbit Dronex Factor style. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials teaching you my tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to capture great footage. Now, before I share all this information, tips, strategies, knowledge, and everything with you, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, thumbs up button. Make sure you run over to my Patreon because I am giving stuff away. I'm not going to tell you what, but drop me a dollar so that way I can see you and be entered for my next giveaway. That's on my Patreon page. One dollar goes a long way. Guys, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Drone X Factor. So reach out to me there. Let's check whatever you want to do if you have any questions about this video are you ready to orbit number one this is number one the first thing you're gonna do is pull out your phone go to your UAV app see here I've got the UAV app and check the wind general rule of thumb is the higher the wind the harder it is to do any maneuver with a drone and if this is you learning to orbit manually for the first time then you'd want to pick a date when the wind is low practice under the ideal circumstances and then work your way up so number one again make sure the wind speed is low got it every time you hear me say the word point of interest in today's video i mean the object that you're going to be orbiting, whether it's moving, whether it's not moving, whether it's a boat, whether it's a building, whether it's a, a structure, whatever it is that you choose to be orbiting, that I will be calling the point of interest from now on. Number two, so if you're going to be doing this for the first time, please, I implore you, pick a point of interest that does not move. Like a building, a building does not move. Or I'd like to hope it doesn't move. You get the point. Pick something that does not move. Boats, trying to go out there and orbit a boat or something that moves for the first point of interest, not advisable. So again, guys, pick a building or something that does not move. Got it? That's number two. Number three, safety is key. Safety is first. Check your surroundings. For example, if I'm going to be orbiting this phone and this is my drone, then number one, I will be coming down because orbiting does not work if you're really high. You're not really orbiting, you're losing the shot. Even if you point your camera down, it kind of looks okay. But to get that real good orbit, you have to come down almost to the height of the building. You can tilt your camera down a little bit and that way you get a good pitch and then you can proceed to orbit. So before you go orbiting anything, stay low, that's number one, right? To the, to the height that you want to orbit and then take a look around. Take a look around, guys. Make sure there's nothing around you. Please accept your point of interest, right? Then when you're finished, turn around, leave your point of interest and fly all the way out until you're close to whatever object is in your way at that height. Don't go higher. Stay at that height. Fly out to whatever it is until you find something else that's in your way. Turn around and look and see from a visual standpoint on your screen, how far away you are from your point of interest before you can actually hit something and take a mental check note. So in case you're orbiting and you so happen to drift, you have a mental note, okay, I'm starting to drift. I know from a visual check that I did before when I was checking my surroundings, I know I can probably hit something. So let me tuck in and come a little closer. Does that make sense? Moral of this story, check your surroundings because two things will take you out. Forget obstacle avoidance. That doesn't help. That's just, I have it, I have it. Okay, that should not be depended on. Two things mainly will take you out. Your point of interest if you fly too close and whatever is behind your point of interest while you're orbiting if you drift too far does that make sense also go around go around fly around like this 
look fly around like this look you don't have to hit that record button yet you have your specific height set that you want to orbit this thing and you're doing a check looking 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 check look 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 fly a little more check look 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 fly check look look do whatever it is you have to do these things fly for half an hour and double check triple check if you need to your surroundings because that can take you out and your point of interest are the only two things basically that can take you out well unless you have a malfunction motor failure that kind of stuff which doesn't really often happen but does but that's not the point you get the point do what you need to do to make sure that your surroundings are clear that's the most important thing because even if you make mistakes you want to have space so if i were you and i'm learning this for the first time i will go out to somewhere in the middle of god knows where where there's just one thing sticking up in the air it doesn't have to be nice doesn't have to be beautiful it just has to be protruding in the air make that your point of interest as long as there's nothing around it if there's nothing around it for miles well then that's even better you don't have to worry about nothing orbit your life away just make sure you have a lot of extra batteries with you so you can practice 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 clear now number four do not let me catch you like i'll be there watching you but you get the point do not ever be watching at your sticks when you're orbiting do not look at your sticks while you're orbiting please don't and do not look at your drone you can go up there you can fly your drone you can look at your drone you can go close to the point of interest with your drone and everything but when you are ready to execute that means when you're ready to hit record and actually start orbiting your point of interest you should not be looking at your sticks you should not be looking at your drone you should be looking at your screen and your screen only Claire don't let me catch you watching those sticks don't let me catch you looking at your drone I'm gonna deduct points now here you go once your surroundings are checked your surroundings are clear it's time to orbit guys don't be afraid awesome now we're out here in the field guys there's really no step-by-step -step how to perform this what I can tell you is if you want to orbit your point of interest going right then you take the right stick and you pull it slowly to the right and the drone will start drifting to the right and then you use your left stick and you pull it a little bit to the left so as you're pulling right and your left stick you touch a little bit to the left it's going to start to roll so as you drift right you're rolling left and that's what's going to cause you to wrap around your point of interest and vice versa if you're going to orbit on the left hand side then you take the right stick and you pull it left you take the left stick and you pull it a little bit to the right so you can kind of wrap around the object like i'm doing here going left or going right in this case i'm going right because that's the easiest way for me to orbit as you can see I'm pulling to the right just slightly on the right stick you can barely see it and my left thumb is going just slightly left on the left stick and that's what's giving a wrap effect guys this is one of those practice makes perfect maneuvers if you find yourself drifting away push forward on that right stick and just close it a little bit and don't push forward hard on the sticks avoid going in <clears throat> You don't want to go in on the sticks. Just go gradually. This does it. Give it some time. Because remember, you check your surroundings and you have a lot of room, I hope, right? So just go in a little bit, go in slowly, and you'll see it start correcting itself and start getting a little closer and closer and closer to your object. As you reach your desired closeness, back off, right? Do not look at the sticks. Look at your screen. You hear what I'm saying? Look at your screen and just focus. Just focus, man. Just focus. You know, if you don't get it, just stop. Take a breather. But you have got to concentrate to pull off this shot. You have got to focus on your screen and your point of interest to get this shot. And worst case scenario, if you see like you're drifting into something, remember, you're on a day when there's low wind. So all you need to do technically is loose the sticks and let the drone hover forget the shot you're not going there for the shot you're just going there to get better you don't even have to hit the record button if you don't want to just keep practicing your circles although I would hit the record button so I can review it and check to see how well I did so yeah you might want to hit the record button generally speaking the higher you go the safer you are when it comes to drones if you find like you're gonna collide with your point of interest because your point of interest is here 
and your drone is here and you find yourself flying in towards it, just push the left stick and go up. Don't go down because most likely your point of interest is from the ground coming up. Just push up. Because right? if you're doing your point of interest on this, then you're not going to be higher than this. You're going to probably be almost level with this. So if you push up the sticks a little bit, you'll probably clear it. Watch out for antennas. If it's a building, a building might have antennas. Keep your eyes focused. They may have an antenna, but just push up on the stick. Or just loose the sticks and let it stop. But when you're orbiting, moral of the story, you want to stay nice and tight. No drifting. You want to keep that orbit nice and tight. Make sense? As long as you do what I'm asking you to do right now, guys, I promise you, I promise you, you will get better. No doubt about it. I promise you, you will get better. That's a fact. Also something to note, if you're not into manual, if you're not into learning to improve your flight skills and to become a better drone pilot, and you just want the footage without having to do the work or developing your craft, well then that's fine too. If you own a DJI drone, I can't speak for the pirates, can't speak for the hotels at this particular point, but I can tell you if you own a DJI drone like a Phantom or Mavic series, all of them have the point of interest mode. It is beautiful. It does excellent orbiting. So go check out the orbiting mode for the DJI drones. And in this link up here, I did it with the DJI Mavic Air because all the Mavics and the Phantoms have it. And they give you almost a precision pinpoint perfect circle, which is almost impossible to do while manually, um, while trying to orbit something manually. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, thumbs up button. Make sure you run over to my Patreon because I am giving stuff away. I'm not going to tell you what, but drop me a dollar so that way I can see you and be entered for my next giveaway. That's on my Patreon page. One dollar goes a long way. Guys, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Drone X Factor. So reach out to me there. Let's chat whatever you want to do if you have any questions about this video. Yeah.